Hey, Basic Filmmaker here. I wanted to show you some really cool things that even I didn't know existed in TubeBuddy. Now I could spend forever making a six hour long video showing all the things that you can do in TubeBuddy. I use their tool on every single video. And let me just show you a couple of features that I really enjoy about TubeBuddy. And I think you will too. So I have a particular title here, text here. If you come down here, I have all my chapter markers and a bunch of different keywords here. And I'm gonna walk this backward on why this works. And basically I went through and kept typing in things and I eventually ended up on this, live stream to 30 channels, clicked explore. It came along and said, hey, that's pretty good. And I said, what if I do all at once? Live stream to 30 channels all at once. Oh, look at that. It thinks that's awesome. Now, whatever this is over here, that's the first thing I just wanted to find that. Is that a good title? So I ended up putting this title, live stream to 30 channels all at once, and then added restream. Now, once I have that, I need to formulate my description. The way I do that is I grab my keyword, live stream to 30 channels all at once, that turned out to be really awesome, and I pick SEO Studio, and here's what it does. I enter my target keyword that I already checked, that is awesome, and I say start, and it analyzes this, it analyzes 80% of the keywords in the title, include your target keyword in the first 60 characters, include your target keyword naturally in the title, include your target keyword in the first 200 characters of the description, which I do, partial matches, etc. Next, include your exact target keyword as the first keyword, which I do, partial matches, which I do, and more relevant tags, which I do, and that's why I scored 100% on this thing. And right there, that gives this video the best chance it can at being discovered, at having the right keywords, at having the right description. I fill out the description with a lot of blah blah that has to do with the video only. Of course, I use the three hashtags that YouTube will put up there. I include some links to restream and a course that I'm doing. I include all my table of contents, basically chapters, etc. on down the line. Now if you jump down here, Look at this, it says best practices. Nice work, you are a rock star. Now the best practices it runs through are all those things you saw in SEO Studio. It will come through and it will analyze the video automatically and tell me I don't have enough characters, I don't have enough keywords, um, I didn't add a comment, a pinned comment, etc. right here, and I do all that stuff on my video. It also checks to make sure there's no weird demonetization. That right there has saved me a ton of time. And between the Keyword Explorer and the SEO Studio for my stuff, that alone is worth the cost of admission to TubeBuddy. Now let me show you the second thing that I didn't know about that kind of blew me away. When I have a video and I decide to schedule it here, it schedule it, I can do a time zone, and the video ends up going private before publishing. Well, now I have a problem with YouTube. If I schedule a video for the future, one, if I add that video to my playlists, that video is not released yet, but since it's unlisted, it's gonna show up in here, or when they set it to private, it'll show up in here and the people won't be able to see it. And it's just like, not really cool at all. Secondly, it'll set this to private. So when it's private, I can't share it with anybody. Let's say I wanna keep it unlisted and I wanna share this video with members of the university or my members over at YouTube, or I wanna send the video over to somebody to review it or something, I can't do that if I schedule the video. Well, over at TubeBuddy, Andrew, thank you, came along and said, hey, you can just use a scheduler here, schedule publish. I didn't even know this thing was in here. So I picked this and what it does is it says, take whatever video you've selected, decide on what date you want to schedule it for. When you schedule it, set it to unlisted or public. Then when I schedule it, go through and add it into whatever playlist that I happen to do. And I just tick these on and off, depending on what playlist I want and email me a right, reminder right now or 24 hours before I publish. And it will also add a comment to the video here. So when I schedule and publish, that sucker will go out and it'll show up and I don't have to use YouTube's kind of funky thing anyway. 
here's a video I scheduled. And what happened was I schedule it and it sent me an email telling me, hey, your go live is scheduled. Here's the title of the video. I can click on it and look at it. Privacy will set the public. I'll add it to this many playlists and I'm going to add this comment after publish. And that was just me testing that. Then what happened is I got an email when it was published saying, hey, it's now live. Here's when it went live at 5.59.54 a.m. The video's privacy was set to public. It's been added to these playlists and I can click and see. And here's the comment that was added. That's awesome. Here's the next thing I use quite extensively. Now I use Genius Links. I'll go into a different video later, but here's what I know is I have this Manfrotto 502. It's a video head and I put a link into it to a ton of videos. Using Genius Link, I know I now want this particular link. For instance, if you click on this link, it takes you directly to Amazon and there's the video head. What I want when someone clicks on that link is I want them to have a choice. They can go to Amazon, they can go to B&H, so in TubeBuddy, I just take this link here that I've spewed all over my videos. I go over here and I say, I want to find and replace text in all my videos. The find text is this particular link from Genius Link. The text I want to replace, the good link, is this guy. So I paste this over here. I'm pretty sure it's not in the titles. You can do all sorts of stuff with this, find and replace and insert and add and replace a description and everything else. I just want to take all links in whatever videos this finds with that and replace it with this link, the current link. So let's continue. I want to search a full list of all my videos. You can restrict it to 10 or whatever. Let's go find this thing. Now it found a ton of videos with that link in there. Over here it says the description and way, wow, <laughs> way, way, way down below, it shows you all the ones you didn't. I simply say I want to select all the videos where you found that, 65 of them, continue, and I want to take that link and I want to replace it with the good link that I want in 65 videos. Yes, I want you to do it. Go for it. It processes these really, really fast. If there's any errors, it shows up here. Usually the errors are, there's something wrong with the link or it was malformed or you found a, a something where it just wasn't quite correct. This thing just rips through these videos. Awesome, so it processed all those videos and replaced those links on 63 of these. What's really cool is there was something wrong in here and we're not sure. Let's go check out this video and find out what's going on with this link. Takes me directly to this tripod head. There's something malformed in here. I can also go through, you'll notice that second B&H link. I can also go through and fix that too. Let's go grab our original link over here that we want. Come back over here. Let's replace that link. I would do that with all of these. Let's save that. That's fixed. Let's go find our second one. Open that up. Go find out what's going over here. Tripod head, right there. Same deal, replace that, done. So I've gone through and I've changed all 65 videos where that link was incorrect and found errors in a malformed link, which means now when people click on that link, they'll go to the right place. They'll have a choice and they'll be able to pick what service they like. I could add in Adorama, I could add in all sorts of things, but that's a completely different video. I can simply archive this link, say see you later, it won't show up anymore, and I'm done. Now, lastly, let me look at one other little tidbit that I found that I think it's kind of cool. All right, I'm in Photoshop. Let me just create a new 1920 by 1080 space. Let's turn the background off and I'm gonna create this 1920 by 1080, which is typically what your thumbnail would be. I wanna go grab a picture of myself and there's me. This is different brandings for my channel. I wanna take this guy, this little green dude, throw him in there. And I'm going to throw him up there just for a demonstration purpose. Now I want to export this entire 1920 by 1080. It's a PNG with a JPEG. You get a white background. It's not see-through. With a PNG, it will take this whole thing. So I'm going to pick File, Export, Export As. And I'm going to pick that I want a PNG. Yes, I want the transparency. And I'm going to export this. If you just export this little guy, it won't work. So you want to export 1920 by 1080. So let's export that. Let's throw that on the desktop. We'll call this YouTube Overlay. 
export it as a PNG. It's done. I'm not going to really save this because this is just a demo. If I wanted to brand all these, I could only do this in TubeBuddy. And what I use that I didn't know was there is a thumbnail overlay. So I pick thumbnail overlay. I say I want to add an overlay. I upload the image from the computer. I choose a file. I go to my desktop. I'm going to grab this little overlay thing right here. Open that. It shows me the image preview. I'm going to have this little green guy up in the upper right hand corner. So let's continue. Let's just do this to the recent five videos. Continue. Let's add it to this one, one up here. Let's just do public videos. I could do every video I have ever made, 400 and something videos. But let's check it out. Do it. Absolutely, I want to do it. And there you go. Three videos are done and they have been overlaid with that little brand. We refresh the page and look it up here. Little brand has been added to this guy on those videos. I could do it to every single video I ever created if I wanted to brand them. Let's go back to the main video page. Here's what's really interesting. Let's look at thumbnail and overlays. It says I can remove the overlay. I don't know what magic is going on here, but let's remove an overlay. Let's only pick the last five videos again. Continue. We have an overlay here. We don't here, we don't here, we don't here. Let's remove the overlay. That's a little icky. Let's remove the overlay from this one video here that I just placed on my video. Let's continue. Let's do it. Start. Now that overlay has been removed. Let's check it out. Close that. It does a refresh. Check it out. That overlay, that little branding has been removed here. And I think that is absolutely cool and genius. Isn't that awesome? There are, again, a ton, ton, ton of tools that TubeBuddy offers. The main product is free. They have different tiers of different things that you can do depending on what you want and what you need to do with your channel. I highly recommend TubeBuddy. If you're doing YouTube videos and you want to figure out how to do titles and what the best chance for your view to do and overlays and search for things and do links and everything else, this thing is just freaking awesome. Don't forget to check out my new OBS course over at Basic Filmmaker University. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Did you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. An airplane's buzzing me. Awesome. Oh.